Now we know that how easy it is to create a class in PHP. Now let's take a look at what is constructor and destructor function is and how to use it. So what is constructor? A constructor allows you to initialize an object's properties upon creation of the object. Now let me simplify this statement. If you create a constructor function, PHP will automatically call this function when you create an object of the class. So constructor function is automatically called when you create an object of the class. Now in the previous lecture, you understand how to create this YouTube class. In this class, we have two properties and two methods. We use setTitle method to initialize this title property and we use getTitle method to get the value of this title property. And we created a class object called the setTitle method with the parameter daily tuition and then just echo this text using this getTitle method. Now you can notice setting value to this title property seems complicated because to set the property value you need to call two methods the set title which will set the value for this property and we call get title to get the value of this property now using constructor you can initialize class properties super easily so to create a constructor function i'm going to just create a new function inside this youtube class you can create constructor function anywhere in this class so i'm going to start with the function keyword and specify here constructor now keep in mind the constructor function start with double underscore and in the parenthesis you can pass your arguments so i'm going to pass title here and in the curly braces i'm going to just initialize this property so i'm going to just say here this call this property and initialize it with this argument now keep in mind the function name is exactly same because if you specify your own name to this constructor function php will not recognize it and consider your function as a user defined function now we know that to initialize this property we use two methods we use this set title to initialize the property and use get title to get the value of this property now let me just remove this first method set title and now i want to remove this set title statement as well now what you need to do is when you specify constructor with the parameter you need to specify value to this parameter when you create an object. So here we created an object of this class. So we need to pass this argument in this parenthesis as a parameter. So in the parenthesis, I'm going to pass daily tuition. So this will just initialize this property so easily. And now when you call get title method, it's going to echo this daily tuition value. Constructor is automatically called when you create an object. So at this statement, when you create a new object, the constructor function is automatically called. Now you're not limited to only initialize values of the constructor function. You can also call a method in the constructor function as well. For example, if I just grab this statement and paste it inside this constructor function, get it off this object and specify here this refers to the current object. And when I execute this statement, it's going to print this daily tuition string. Now the opposite of this constructor function is a destructor function. The destructor function is called when the object is destroyed or the script is stopped. If you have a destructor function, PHP will automatically call this function at the end of the script. The destructor function starts with a function keyword with a destruct name. Now keep in mind, the destructor function also starts with this double underscore. Now in this destructor function, I'm going to just echo destructor function called and then I'm going to call a property title. Now when I execute this file, it's going to return the statement something like this. It's going to first return the daily tuition and at the end of the script, it's going to call this destructor function. Destructor function automatically called when the object is destroyed. So now the question comes in where you can use this constructor and destructor functions. Constructor function can be used anywhere where you want to initialize something like variable, new object, or MySQL connections. On the other hand, destructor function can be used to destroy the initialized object in the constructor or close the MySQL connection. I hope you understand how to create constructor and destructor function. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.